Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Children's Worship at St. Stephen's Episcopal Church. I'm Hannah, and I'm so glad that you are here with us this morning. So get yourself to a good place where you can prepare to sing and listen and wonder and pray together. And we start, as always, with our candle. The light of Christ. Thanks be to God. Let us begin by singing, This is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. We will rejoice, we will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Blessed is God, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And blessed is God's kingdom, now and forever. Amen. Today, again, we have a story from the Spark Story Bible. And today's story comes to us from the Gospel of Matthew. And it is called The Wedding Banquet. Everyone is invited to be part of God's party. Jesus told this story. The king's son was getting married, so the king planned a big wedding banquet. When everything was ready, he sent his servants to tell his friends to come and have fun. But the people who were invited didn't want to come to the party after all. They said they were too busy. They all made excuses. The king became very angry, so he sent the servants to invite everyone they could find to come to the party. Soon the party was crowded with laughing and dancing people. Jesus explained that being part of God's family is like the wedding banquet. Everyone is invited to come to the party. So that is a fun gospel story that we hear Jesus tell today. It's about a wedding and a party. And who among us doesn't enjoy a party? I think one of the interesting things in this story for us to think about and reflect on is how the king in this story is kind of like God. How God wants all of us to be invited to God's party. God believes that everyone belongs to God. Not just your friends or your family or the people you know. Not just the people who are always good or always likable, but everybody. Everyone belongs to God and everyone is welcome at the wedding banquet, at the party that God throws. And so that's important for us to remember that we belong to God and God loves us no matter what. So even when we are not our best selves, God still loves us. Of course, God wants us to love others and to be our best selves, but even in times when we aren't, God loves us. And every person that we come in contact with whether that's someone we see at the grocery store or a classmate we see over Zoom, God loves that person and God welcomes that person as well. 
So in response to this story, I'm going to invite you to draw a picture. And I want you to imagine what it would be like to be with God at a party, to be at the party that God throws for everyone in the whole world. So there might be dancing and laughter. Use your imagination and draw that picture. Amen. And now we continue with the singing of the Children's Creed. We believe in God above, we believe in Jesus' love. We believe God's Spirit too, comes to teach us what to do. We believe that we can be kind and loving God like Thee. Now is the time for us to pray together. And as I do every week, I want to invite all of you to say aloud or silently what it is you want to pray for this week. So let's take a minute and think about what we want to pray for. I know that I would like to pray for all of you, all the children and families of St. Stephen's Episcopal Church and St. Stephen's Episcopal School. And I know that I would like to pray for our city of Houston, pray for all of those people that we love, and pray that everyone would be able to feel the love and the welcome and invitation of God. So join me in praying this echo prayer together. So listen to my words and then say it after me. God be in my head. God be in my heart. God be in my right hand. God be in my left hand. God be in my whole life. Thanks be to God. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Thank you all for praying with me today, and I hope you have a good week.